Will Ferrell and Daryl Hammond just just killed yeah. that. That, that. That's another great team. Right that was there. like one of the few like skits where like Will Ferrell was like the calm guy because he played right, right. exactly, and Hammond friend. was the crazy one. And then I think about how Connery got on the the musical episode. He's like, oh, I wrote a limerick just so I could be on here. There once was a na- man named Trebek who had the world's tiniest. <laughs> yeah, and then it's kind of awesome. <laughs> Oh man! All right. I know. Sorry, I could go on and on. That's fine. That's fine. I think I think we all could. Um, What's What's your next pick? Oh shoot! I have another one. Um, I gotta go with Cajun Man. Uh, that's pretty good. Who? Cajun Man. Adam Sandler is Cajun Man. Uh, Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. So I'm thinking of the one. I know it's like a little underrated out of all Sandler's characters. But the one that always stuck out to me was Cajun Man picking the final four. Oh, yeah. He'd be, I'm trying to think of some of the school names, but that was pretty funny. Yeah. Yes. I mean, for. I just, well, and the thing that always made the weekend update bits back then was Kevin Nealon. Like, Kevin Nealon was yeah. another one who was just the straight guy, and yeah, he like never lost yeah. it. Never lost it. No. But I, I know I had a lot of Sandler characters to pick from, and <laughs> everyone's going to say, okay, Ashley, you went with Feral and Feral, and now all of a sudden Cajun Man, what the hell? <laughs> but think about it. There's Cajun so many Man, to pick from, though. But, but think about it. Cajun Man became the water boy. Basically, True. Yeah, essentially. Oh, yeah. I didn't it morphed into the yeah. water boy. You think of the water boy, the water boy came from Cajun Man. Yep. So I stand by my pick. There yes. Go. Can't go wrong with that. All right. Uh, Mark, you're up. Oh, man. Let's see here. I'm trying to keep the variety going with uh, some of the skits because uh, <laughs> there's so many you could cho- choose from, like, any era, like another Sandler one or another, uh, you know, uh, Chris Farley one. But I want to go somewhat of a new, newer one, and I just liked it because I thought it was hysterical. But the uh, what's up with that skit? Yeah. I used to yeah. actually love that skit. Who was the, the guy? Was it Lindsey Buckingham? That it was like, yeah, oh, we didn't have Lindsay time to Buckingham. get to you. I just thought that was hysterical and with the music and everything. And I know there's other ones that may, people may know better, but I just, I, that for that couple of years that was on, that was the one I was, the, the skit I was looking forward to. Is he even the oldest, like the longest running <laughs> actor in SM? Oh, it, he, it yeah, kind of feels oh, like he it. Is, No, he is officially. He's been forever. He's been I used to just like, they had so many random people on that, um, when they'd bring out like Jake the Snake Roberts or like, <laughs> I think, yeah. Uh, yeah. Who was the other one? John Stockton one time. My favorite <laughs> thing about that was um, Jason Sudeikis in the background doing the <laughs> Oh, yeah. The, the hip hop dancing. <laughs> yeah. Just not stop. I, I love funny. that. Yeah, that's an underrated one. I'll tell underrated. you, I'm not as familiar. Like, I, the newer era of SNL for me is like really dry, but I agree that's one of the few skits that stands yeah, out. Yeah, that was, I mean, that was as that was new considering like Hader and Sudeikis were on it. I, I really, since they left, I really haven't been all that into it. Like, it's, like, uh, it's, it's just, it's hit and miss. It's not. <clears throat> They, they occasionally have good stuff. Um, I think the the the, the, the only the real right. good stuff is like an, in Weekend Update. Sometimes it's yeah, like, like, yeah, it's just uh, yeah, it's just it's not like I you know used to enjoy it. I guess for whatever reason, I don't know if it's the writing or the people on it's it. It's just different. It's just yeah. Different. Because it's, I, I mean, it's like I've been in the era since the mid '80s all the way through to like you know, like I said, Hater, Sudeikis, Will Forte, all those guys. But yeah, the last like I don't know six years maybe. Something like that, seven years. Okay. Wait, basically, when they fired everyone. Yeah, I yeah. guess when they, I don't know, for whatever reason, yeah, they just got rid of everybody, just went their own ways and doing whatever. But okay, I am gonna go. I'm gonna go lazy Sunday. Oh, that's that's a good one. Got... I still love that song. Yeah, that's oh is, man, it's is, is good. Um, speaking of, um, speaking of songs, it, um. Adam Sandberg and Adam Levine. This is the only th- good thing Adam Levine ever did. Um, <laughs> he, he they made this song um, about uh, um, Ar- I, um, the the leader of Iran saying there's no gay people in Iran or something like that. Um, it, it's called Iran So Far Away. Oh, she's so oh good. yes, it is good. He's like, you say there's no gay people in Iran. Well, you you're in New York now, baby. I, <laughs> I, have to, um, I haven't heard that. But yeah, no, I remember that. 
Lazy Sunday was uh, well, that kind of historically off the, the first like digital short one. Right. Was huge. Right. Yeah. And like the first viral <laughs> thing. So, okay. And then for my final pick, oh my God. Like, so, many good ones. <laughs> so many good choices. I know. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to go. It was called A Thanksgiving Miracle. This is the one. This is kind of a new one. This is um, from a couple <laughs> years ago. Um, they're all at thanks. This is right after Trump. Yeah, it was. It was the Thanksgiving after Trump was elected, um, and you know it's like a family at Thanksgiving, and they all start. You know, the, you know the family. I'm sure this happened to a lot of <laughs> households in America. Like you know, you're you're eating and everybody oh, starts talking, and then somebody political. starts mentioning politics, and it uh, gets nasty. And every time um, um, Adele's hello would come on, everybody would just stop and, and love each other. <laughs> okay. that's, that's, so obviously it was around that when that song came out. Right. They and just every – like it just – it was just, just over and over again. It's like, <laughs> okay, then the song would stop and everything would go back to normal. And then they would, somebody would start fighting again. And then all of a sudden – and it just got more and more ridiculous. And like it, like every time they played it, they got a little more crazy and they were they, – people started making out. It was it, it was ridiculous. So I'm, I'm, I'm going with that. All right, Mark, this is your final pick. Alrighty. Um, yeah, let's see here. I'm, I forgot we were doing. I'm, I'm used to doing the three rounds with you. On, on yeah. The, yeah. Same. We're doing four. Oh, I, I could do ten if I needed to. I know. I know. Oh, I could keep going. My list is. That's why I haven't really made up my my decision. Uh, I think I'm going to go with another Farley one with the Chippendale skit. Oh man. I Oh uh, man! I didn't want did, did he to take your another, pick? I was trying to spread it out, but yeah, I mean that skit was like I think that's what shot him into. <laughs> it was one of my options, but let me, you know, the <laughs> chemistry, the chemistry between Farley and Swayze. Yeah, that was that was like that was oddly amazing. good. Like, who knew? Yeah, they don't look who, the same, but man, they were hysterical together. Uh, who just, knew? <laughs> just God. What? <sighs> And just even when they were talking about gone and... too soon, like Chris Farley, that's just such a shame. I I just saw him recently. They, they, he um he he was on the David Letterman show, and he comes in through like the audience, <laughs> and he is like a maniac. Like oh, he yeah, just probably true. did like twenty pounds of cocaine. Yeah. <laughs> he just starts <laughs> running everywhere, and the dude starts doing cartwheels. I just like <laughs> over and over. And one cartwheel after another, like <laughs> how is this dude, this very large guy, just just so limber and just doing cartwheels? It's amazing. He always was able to do the cartwheels. You were like, how athletic was he? Even though he was like well over three hundred pounds. Oh god, he was huge. Yeah. He was a freak of nature. He was. What? He was comedically. Oh my and physically. god. Just... But yeah, I mean that's even the judges on that skit I thought were hysterical, and they were explaining to him why they. Right. So they thought they would go with him, and Kevin Nealon's like, "Well, we thought for maybe some of our heavier clients, like <laughs> it was just well, delivered and, and, so well." Well, and then Mike Myers is all, "Oh yeah, well, come on." Yeah, that's just a great. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah. All right, Ashley, you got the last pick. <clears throat> okay. Well, I have. This one's tough, and this is a little out of left field here, but and it. it you and I talked about how much I love impersonations. Okay. Tina Fey as Sarah Palin. So good. Gets me every time. <laughs> Gets me every single time. And I think of, there are two main ones I think of. One, when she played Sarah Palin with the real John McCain when they did the QVC yes. commercial. That was really good. And McCain <laughs> was awesome on that too. McCain yes, was, he was. That episode was really was pretty funny when he hosted, I remember. Yeah. And then of course, uh when Tina plays uh Palin and Amy Poehler plays Hillary Clinton. Um 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 okay, Hillary Clinton. That was a oh. really good one. I was thinking of when um when Amy Poehler played uh uh, uh, Katie Couric. Katie Couric. Well, that was that was another one good that one. I would think of. But I think of just Sarah Palin and Hillary Clinton on stage, and yeah. Amy Poehler. Hillary Clinton's just like really riled up. That was and gold. She she's also like gold. very pregnant on top of it, so her yes. hormones are just feeding into the anger. <laughs> um, 
God, I, I, I love Tina Fey so much. That that whole era of Saturday Night Live that, you know, the late 2000s was just amazing. And I think they, that really did, like, like affect politics. And, um, yeah, I remember um, Obama was on a skit. Um, yeah, that was a, that was a go- and um, weekend update with with Tina Fey and Jimmy Fallon was amazing. Oh, and then yeah, it was. with um, with uh, Tina Fey and Amy Poehler was amazing. They were just so they were so good. And then um, even after that, Amy Poehler was Seth Meyers. Like those were three good. Yes, yeah, Seth Meyers was another great one. Yes, yes. Um, <laughs> did you? Um, we might have to have a separate fantasy draft just for a weekend update. Let's seriously, here. seriously. Um, there was a skit with Amy Poehler. She was extremely pregnant. Um, oh, I think it was Josh Brolin. She, they're they're in a bar, and um, like they're looking at each other and and, and stuff. And, and all you see is like from that from that from the like the chest up, and they're all like looking at each other and like like. Like 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 they really want to um, get with each other, and then and then he um, he he like motions like come over here, and she gets up and she's like the most pregnant person in the history of the world, <laughs> and he looks he looks at her at first like like his eyes get real big and then he's like okay I'm into it all right <laughs> that, that was that was a really good one but they, they were like in a like in a biker bar or a country bar or something like that okay. So this is actually going to be my favorite part. The ones that didn't make it. I'm, oh, I'm sure we all I, I have a list. honorable church lady. Uh, honorable, yeah, yes, church, church lady. Church easily. lady. Um, Wayne's, Wayne's World. World. Yeah, wait. Uh, you know, Wayne's World was originally one of my picks, and I was thinking of the Aerosmith up uh, sketch. Oh uh, yeah, that's, that's, that was Aerosmith one of the best. Aerosmith comes in. in. Hey, Tom when Hanks they started that talking too. like all like smart about what was going on in like <laughs> in like the Middle oh, yeah. East or something or whatever. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> They yeah, just start Tom- debating the like the Berlin Wall or something. Yeah, something, like yeah, something at like the time. <laughs> but yeah, Tom Hanks is the roadie. Like, okay, guys, oh, yeah, calm like, down. Check one, check, check two. One. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Ah. Um, how about um, this was from the, I think the first year point counterpoint. Um, the yes. famous <laughs> line, Jane oh, Rigner. Yeah, that was. There have been many Dan times Ackley. in many podcast episodes where I've wanted to say, "Mark, you ignorant slut." <laughs> Just the front. Hey. Yeah. Well, now that we all have like a jo- you know a joint love of SNL, you can feel free to break out these lines accordingly. Yeah. Exactly. Um, another one I think of is uh, the super fans. Oh uh, yeah, the Bears. Yeah. Oh yeah, the Bears. Bears. Uh, that, used to pack me that was a really I, uh... good one. The dude would always have a heart attack. Yeah, yes, Farley, always. Farley always had a heart um, attack. There was just... another Two wild one... and crazy guys. Yes. The yeah, Tech Brothers. Yes. So I good. Used to, when I was growing up, I thought Steve Martin was actually a cast member. Seriously, he was just that frequent. <laughs> he was always like, all the time. In fact, isn't that like his thing that like he's like the the most like the the guy that hosted the most or something like that? Or did Baldwin be him for that? Pro- probably I can't remember. Probably because Baldwin kept doing it. <laughs> right, right. He's still um, doing it. Um, I have on a um one of the hockey guys, Matt Geica. He um. He every time I have him on, he's like, "Oh, I'm the I'm a member of the three guests club. I've, I've been on three appearances. <laughs> the fourth, Woo-hoo. The fourth like, do guest. I get a do I get a jacket or something?" That was another skit, the uh, five timers club. That was pretty yeah, cool. yeah, the five timers. Yeah, um, Debbie Downer is another one. Debbie there. Downer. Oh my god, that was another one where everybody lost it. <laughs> oh yeah, especially that uh, one where they're at Disney or whatever. Yes, and they start yeah. using like Goofy's ears or something like the yeah. wipers. I think I think Jimmy Fallon, yeah, <laughs> or something like that, or so maybe good. it was a pancake. He was using like a Nikki pancake. To... <laughs> right, right, yeah. Um, uh, Happy Fun Ball. Oh yeah, that was a good commercial. Do not taunt. Yeah, Happy. that was. A good uh, it was one. like it had the most side effects um, you've ever seen. <laughs> right. Um, um, Consumer Probe. That was. I think that was the one where um, it was like one of the things was I um one of the kids' toys was a bag of broken glass. I think it was called yeah, Shards yeah. of Glass or something. Shards of Glass. <laughs> um, Let's see. They had uh, Hans and Franz was good. Oh, Hans and Franz. Hans yeah. and Franz, yeah. So, fun fact, my husband's middle name is Hans. <laughs> and <laughs> he said that if we That's have perfect. kids and we have two boys. Oh, the Hans first and Franz. Kid, well, we're def- if we have a son, we're definitely naming him Hans because that was his dad's name. 
Okay. And I don't know if he's joking or serious. He's like, well, the second kid's going to be Franz. 